In this video, we will discuss research in a laboratory setting. Laboratory is a unique setting and can be used for several reasons, which we will illustrate in this video. In the social science, a laboratory isn't a room full of microscopes. It is an environment that is entirely under the researcher's control. Think of a small room with no distracting features. Just a comfortable chair and a desk with a computer where participants can perform, for example, an intelligence test. All under the same conditions. Or a laboratory could be a room with carpeting, pillows and toys, with cameras to record small children when a stranger enters the room. There are three main reasons to use a laboratory for your study. The first is to attain control because the researcher is able to isolate external influences. Because of this increased control, it is also easier to implement a manipulation of the independent variable. And lastly, constructing a setting for the experiment is a reason to use a laboratory study. A laboratory can take on whatever physical, social or other characteristics that are required to investigate the research question. It allows the researcher to take all participants through the same planned sequence of events in the same setting. Because of the large amount of control, a lot of experimental research is done in a laboratory setting. The experimental design, combined with the control that a lab setting offers, maximizes internal validity. The lab is very useful for experimental studies. But laboratory studies are not by definition always experimental. They can also focus on non-causal hypotheses without any manipulation, just using the lab to have control over the settings and the circumstances. The laboratory setting is more appropriate for some types of research goals and less appropriate for others. Some research goals are relatively universalistic whereas others are more particularistic. Universalistic research goals involve investigating hypotheses derived from a specific theory. So the main question is whether hypotheses can be demonstrated at all. The details of the setting and the population are considered less important. An example of a research question that could be asked when the goal is universalistic is is intrinsic motivation related to academic achievement. In contrast, particularistic research goals involve immediate applicability for a specific setting or group of people. So the details of the setting and the population are considered very important. An example of a research question that could be asked when the goal is particularistic is does a new teaching method produce good results at the University of Amsterdam? Laboratory settings are well matched to universalistic research goals, because whether the specific details of the setting occur anywhere in the real world outside of the laboratory is not significant for the purpose of the study. It is only to investigate if the hypothesis of a theory can be demonstrated at all. For particularistic research goals, a laboratory setting might be less suitable. If you, for example, want to know the impact of an intervention in a specific setting with a specific group of people, you would not want to study this in a laboratory setting that does not match their real world. Laboratory studies can be divided into three categories, which often differ in the nature of the independent variable. Impact studies, judgment studies, and observational studies. An impact study is a study in which the manipulation is intended to directly affect participants' behavior. So participants experience some event or a sequence of events to which they must react. In judgment studies, events do not happen to participants. Instead, a researcher creates different versions of the stimuli and asks participants to directly respond to them. In observation studies, 
There is no emphasis on manipulations or judgments of differing stimuli. Rather, it focuses on detailed observation of some interaction or behavior that unfolds over time. To summarize, a laboratory is an environment that is entirely under the researcher's control. With a laboratory setting, the researcher is able to isolate external influences. This maximizes the internal validity.